which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're giving leftovers a makeover by turning them into calzones. Calzones are basically pita pockets and you could fill them and stuff them with any leftovers you any leftovers you have. You can do chicken, meatballs, a meat sauce, vegetables like a spinach and cheese uh, filling. The sky's the limit. Get those leftovers out, whatever you have laying around that you would probably normally throw away because it would sit there forever, and stuff them in this pita bread recipe that I have. Now, I'm going to be using my pita pocket recipe because it makes for the most delicious pizza crust, and basically that's what a pizza pocket is. It's basically pizza crust filled with whatever you want to fill it with. That's really what it is. Now, I'm not going to redo that recipe right now because I've already done it, and I'll put the link up here so you can click there and get it. If you want to take a shortcut, you can go to your favorite pizzeria and buy a little bit of pizza dough from them. That is an option too, but this is really very simple to make. I make it at least once a week. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off by marinating these three chicken breasts. Breasts, usually I would use leftovers, but since I don't have any, we're gonna demonstrate some so that way in case you wanna make it without leftovers as well. You can use chicken breast or chicken thigh meat. I'm, and all I did was add some olive oil, and I'm gonna season them very simply with some salt, black pepper, some crushed red pepper flakes, if you, will, if you like some heat, and some dried oregano. Of course, you could use basil or even parsley or whatever your favorite seasonings are. And you wanna make sure you do the same thing on the other side. You always season both sides so you can have maximum flavor. So my oven is preheated to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to bake in the, on the center rack until it's fully cooked. About 165 degrees Fahrenheit is the internal temperature that we're looking for. That's going to take about 25 minutes or so. But again, if you have rotisserie chicken or any leftover chicken, feel free to use that. So while the chicken is in the oven, it's time to portion out the dough. So when you make the dough, you can do this two ways. You can make it a day ahead of time and just let it slow rise in the refrigerator so you wouldn't let it rise outside until it doubles in volume. Just transfer the dough into a bowl, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it rise overnight in the refrigerator. And then when you're ready to use it, take it out and let it sit for an hour or so at room temperature. Then portion it out into 10 equal pieces, just like I did over here. And now it's time to roll each portion out while the chicken is cooling. But of course, if you already have some leftover chicken from the night before, you don't have to worry about it cooling. I like to use all the leftovers I have so that way we don't waste anything. And then I have some shredded mozzarella cheese, some pasta sauce, and pretty much that's it. We're just gonna put it all together in no time. I'm gonna roll these out. So we're just gonna dip it into some all-purpose flour so that way it's easy to roll out. The best thing about these calzones is that they absolutely do not have to be perfect. Does, it's not like when you're making pita bread, you're not looking for a pocket. You're basically just rolling it out. And another tip, if you're um, taking it out of the refrigerator, the colder this dough is, the more it's gonna shrink. So the closer you have it to room temperature, or the warmer it is actually, it's gonna stretch out much easier. You might not even need a rolling pin. So I'm gonna take a few pieces of chicken and put them in on one half of the pita bread of the dough. And then I have some jarred pasta sauce here. This is just plain marinara sauce. I'm just gonna pour some on top. A few tablespoons should be good. Of course, I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper flakes on there. And just a little tiny bit of oregano. And instead of doing this step by step, you can definitely put you could definitely just season the sauce ahead of time. And over here I have some shredded mozzarella. You can use any cheese that you like and you can also fit some veggies in here if you wanted to. Before we fold it over, I'm gonna brush all around with some water so that way it helps it seal. And when I go over, I like to stretch it a little bit because like I said, pizza dough does like to shrink. And then I'm gonna seal it 
just by crimping the edges together. All right, I also have some ground meat sauce over here. I didn't even, I just took it straight out of the refrigerator. It's still cold. I'm just gonna take some of the meat sauce just the way it is and put it on one side of the dough. Put some marinara sauce on top and some mozzarella. Meatballs would be great too. If you have any leftover meatballs, that would be delicious. Some water all around the edges. Stretch it and fold over and then just crimp the edges together by rolling them in. And on the baking tray it goes. Now, I'm making these a little bit on the bigger side so they can be like a lunch portion or a dinner portion. One of these will feed one person happily. Of course, you can give them two, but you can, if you wanna make them a little bit smaller, make them a little appetizer size, you can do that and double the amount of, you know, that we made. We made we're making 10 today, but you can definitely do 20. I'm gonna continue filling these this, with the same combination of chicken and ground beef, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. As soon as all of the calzones are formed, go ahead and cut some slits on top and then brush a little bit of olive oil on top of them with a, and then sprinkle some salt on top of that so that way they could have a little bit of flavor. The oven should be preheated to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to go in there and bake for about 30 or 35 minutes or until they're nice and golden. I'll show you what they look like as soon as they come out. So the pizza pockets are out of the oven. They took 30 minutes in my oven to bake and I did flip the trays. I, the bottom one went on the top and the top on the bottom so that way they bake evenly. Ovens vary so you want to keep an eye on it. If it starts to brown too fast, you can reduce the heat to 450 degrees if your oven tends to be a little bit on the hotter side. Keep an eye on them when they're beautifully golden like this and the sauce is sort of oozing out, then you know that they're ready. You pull them out and let them sit for about five minutes. I didn't have that much patience. I wanted to film this bite shot as soon as possible because the house smells amazing. I think you guys are gonna love this. It's a great way to use up your leftovers. Definitely use different combinations and let me know which way you made them down below. If you want me to do a vegetarian version, comment down below and let me know and I'll bring that to you as soon as I can. It is time to take a bite. And I have some tzatziki over here. Let me let you hear how they, how they sound on the bottom. They should have a hollow sound. You hear that? That's how you know they're done. That's how you know the dough is gonna be fully cooked. You definitely don't wanna undercook it because then it's gonna be raw and doughy. Mm. That is so good. If chicken parmesan can be in a pizza form, this is what it would taste like. The one that I tasted has chicken and the cheese in it and the sauce. The combination goes together so well with tzatziki. I had some in the fridge from a few days ago when I made it. I'm not gonna bite it and have the one with the meat sauce yet because I really wanna finish this chicken one, but it's all gonna be delicious. All the uh, ingredients and the measurements are gonna be in the description box down below as well as on the website, demetriusdishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, sir.